Dennis tells me this short cut is new. The river has washed away a huge chunk of land. So not only do the annual floods swallow the forest, they can also change the river's course from one year to the next. I can see how an outsider could get hopelessly lost here, maybe never finding their way out. This is actually as far as we can come by water, but there is a way past here, but it's going to be hard. Right, this is actually the easy bit, taking the bags up above the rapid, but uh, after that's done, we're going to need to drag the boat, and these wooden dugouts weigh an absolute ton, and to do that, we're going to have to need to um, put it on wooden rollers. Rollers that we have to cut ourselves. This simple and ancient method, known as portaging, has been used for as long as there have been heavy wooden canoes. It's back-breaking work, but to get to the secret lake, I must get over these obstacles. With the wooden rollers in place, it's time to shift the canoe. One, two, three! <laughs> This single, solid piece of wood weighs hundreds of pounds. If any of us loses control, it could easily break bones. A broken leg now would mean game over. I've fallen between two rollers, which keep the boat from landing on me. Luckily, I avoided a crushed pelvis. I'm not here to slow us down, so I grit my teeth and get on with it. Two. Right, this looks slippy. Feels good to have that over with. Actually, there's quite a good fishing spot here. We're going to camp the other side of the river. But actually, that was just the warm-up act. Tomorrow, we've got to get over that.